Blessed be the slugs. Not only have I finally joined with the slug, but I am selected to govern the Forge of Truth, a world which will host the greatest building project in the great history of the slugs. It will be a monument to the glory of the eternal slugs. Praise the slugs indeed. Brother Hans Messier. And with that, welcome back to our Church of the Brain Slug series. I'm Horace Struck, and we're playing Stellaris on Grand Admiral Difficulty. Glad to have you guys back. Um, I've been sick. I'm sorry. Uh, there was a long pause in the series. You, the previous episode was still recorded in the last uh, recording session, but I didn't have like a Church of the Brain Slugs uh, gospel episode before that. So that's why that still was recorded but didn't didn't come out for quite a while um i apologize for that and for the long pause now what i've done here is i've triggered the brain slug event um if you want to do that yourself um it would be this one event dista 172 you need to select a station or a ship and this will give us the symbionts um now why have i not done that up until now a lot of people have said they want me to do it I thought we might maybe find this out in space organically. It didn't happen, so now I thought I just uh, am gonna trigger it and we'll we'll do this. Um, so, science officer uh, No Name is delighted to report that joining with a symbiont from Sluggish Station has been a glowing success. After an initial period of confusion and mild discomfort, reports notably increased intellectual facilities. Oh no, the, the science officer reports notably increased intellectual facilities when it comes to solving complex tasks. Even more remarkably, it's now the person is now able to mentally communicate with the slug-like creature freshly attached to the brainstem. The symbionts are hive minds with lifespans of hundreds of years. They claim their past union with the reptiles on Sluggish Station <laughs> came to end when their host grew unfoundedly suspicious of them. In fits of rage, the reptiles began tearing off their symbionts and clubbing them to death. Dismayed by the host's actions, the symbionts that survived retreated away from the reptiles who, without the neural stimulation of their slugs, devolved back into non-sapient beasts. The symbionts would like to offer uh, a union to other brain slug hosts in the church of the brain slug. They ask, however, that only the willing become hosts. So this is what we're going to do. We get a brain slug host on praise the slugs. Modify pops in church of the brain slugs by adding the brain slug host trait. Yes. Now, uh, this is going to give us unrest. We have slug phobia. I mean, which is nasty. Very nasty. How can you not love the slug? Planet's populace has misgivings about their fellow colonists choosing to enter into a symbiotic union with neural slugs. What we can do now is. Uh, where are we? Damn it, over here, species. We can apply this template to everyone. Um, so, our entire species is going to become brain sluggish. This reduces our growth rate. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this. So more engineering research, more physics research, more society research, more unity. But 25% reduced pop growth, which is uh, actually pretty nasty. But we are rapid breeders, so it's only minus 15%. Um, but it is kind of helpful for research and unity. So we'll, we'll take it. And Situation yeah, log I like updated. it. I like it. It's 14 months. We'll do this. We'll modify our entire species to have brain slugs. And they already have it, kind of. Okay, holy hell. It's been a long while since I played. Now let me look at all this. Uh, what were we trying to do diplomatically? I think, yeah, we're still friends with the Helvens. And I think we're trying to, like, form a federation. We can form a federation now. We're actually through with the diplomacy tree. Okay, are we at the trust cap? We are. Hmm. These guys, they don't like us. I wonder if we shouldn't become friends with them. Because they're already in a defense with the Kyrillians and the Tropokians. Maybe we should actually ditch the Helvens. Not 100% sure, but maybe that is something that we want to do. Because I... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to be on their bad side they're overwhelming and these guys they haven't been a huge help in the last war if i remember that correctly i'm not sure if we're ever gonna be huge friends like they're still not there for uh, joining a federation i could give them like a very favorable trade deal i th still think they wouldn't do it um maybe we can try that i'm not gonna give away my alloys anymore that's just that has been an erroneous belief of the Church of the Brain Slugs that we could do anything by giving away alloys. It's not going to happen anymore. 
minerals maybe. Consumer goods away. Okay, they're really not interested in minerals either. What about energy credits? Yeah, okay, they like energy credits. Sure. Oh man. Hmm. I mean, we're making tons of it. Still, do I want to give them that much? I guess so. We also have a lot of moats and crystals. How's that? What are we getting the most of? Moats, I guess. So, how about... I'll give you 100 moats too. Is that something that we can do? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if that is enough to bring them into a federation with us. Come on. Okay, so they're happy. Um, how about the Federation? Minus four. Mother Draka. <sighs> okay, I guess we're going to push the relative power of Empire. So we have to massively build up our fleet. How is our fleet at this point? So we have classes. We have salvage cruisers. We have been building Securitas cruisers, I guess. Okay. Well, I'll send them back for ship upgrades. We're both moving back to the slug yards. I guess I can live with that. Oh yeah, we have Salbrix Alpha. Okay, that's noted. How is our uh, Empire Sprawl? What? Why are we at 187? Complete. That is crazy. What happened? Really? 187 with double the admin cap? That's not how I remember it. Was there like a rebalancing patch or something? This is really weird. I mean, these guys are happy now. Helvons broke the non-aggression pact with the Karelians. What? Come on. Don't be like that. Don't be so crazy. Is there anyone else that we want to... These guys are mega corporations. Ganvius. Uh, what are you? Feudal Empire. They don't really hate us. We could maybe go for a commercial pact. Would you go for non-aggression? No, the hegemonic imperialists. Is there anyone, maybe the technocracy of Srag? Hello, guys. Um, if I send you some decent stuff, let's say I send you this. Why does no one want minerals? What what's go what's what's wrong there with you guys? I just I don't I don't get it. Well, let's say we send you volatile moats. Uh, what else do we have? We have some gases that I don't want to give away. Uh, I'm not going to give away alloys. Okay, so this is going to be it. Let's uh, sweeten the pot. That gives us plus 13. Mm, that's not enough. Commercial pact is with minus 63. We should really try to bribe these dudes. Complete. Okay, so the Helens are the Helens are going mad. Why don't you why don't you like these boys anymore? They like we've been friends with them. 187. These guys have 275 population. We have 250. So we're still doing well in terms of pop growth. Um, these guys have 320 on 14 planets. We only have 10 planets. Are we are we terraforming any planets? No. We have Tomb World um, habitability on these planets. Oh man, it's it's pretty difficult getting back into this game. I yeah, you could say I should have done that um, outside of the Let's Play episode. Uh, yeah, this is lush. So this is our agriculture world. I'm glad that I that I built things in here. Oh yeah, the Forge of Truth. Forge of Truth, I think, is what is also pushing us so high above the Empire um, sprawl cap. Decisions. When I go ecology project. Cost. We're just lacking. We're just lacking minerals here. Okay, cool. Um, let's do this. Hmm. What's Dub Prime doing? What are we doing here? It's a mining world. Uh, I have to remove tower blocker, but we don't have the tech. That's nasty. Um, don't want to upgrade this. I guess we could build 
another housing district here. Just for the time being. And then Bounty could use another agriculture district. Because we're low on food now. Also have another building slot there. Okay, let's go fast speed again. Um, last piece between the Urzo and the Imperium of Uthen. Yeah, we wanna we wanna save our minerals, I guess. We're still gaining gases. Why is that? Hmm. I'm gonna need more minerals. Can I force that somehow? We only have a city district. I can't get that. We need the blocker tech. What are we currently researching? Okay, we are going for blockers. But we're modifying our species. It's only five more months. And then we're actually there. Construction complete. Okay, very nice. Uh, this gives us more jobs. And I wonder why we don't have that food processing facility on here. I would like to see that. And then we also need more consumer goods, but I think I wanted to do that on the Forge of Truth. Over here, our urban world. That's the population looking, yeah, slowly but surely growing. 5.51 per month currently. That's pretty good. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, we have 19 clerk jobs. Clerk jobs, sorry. I'm always saying that wrong. And uh, so there's still a lot of jobs that can be filled before anything happens. I think we just terraformed everything to ocean worlds. Is complete. that right? I think so. There's a species tampered with. May the spirits forgive us. We've completed the modification of the brain slug hosts. Yes. Okay. Very good. So everyone now has a, a brain slug. Love that. This is great. Praise the slugs. Still gonna be mad for six thousand eight hundred days, but that's okay. We're, we're glorious. This is the, the perfect thing. Perfect thing to do. Now, uh, we're still missing still missing jobs, but if we get an additional, uh, two additional pops, we're gonna be fine here. That unemployed person can go somewhere. Oh wait, yeah, we have 2,000 influence, so what can we do? Actually, what we should do is go diplomatic grants. Boost that trust growth. Ah, it doesn't really help us. Mm. Well, we can still go... Capacity overload, I don't need. I want more minerals, so... Capacity... Farming... Where's the... Where's the mining grants? That's weird. The healthcare campaign active, we have the declare saint active, land of opportunity is active. I mean, I guess I can go diplomatic grants, doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, sure. Because um, we have one unemployed person, a Tropokian. Why are you. What is the un unemployment problem? The non-believers are fighting amongst themselves. Ah, it's a social, it's a, it's a higher social stratum. That's the sacred tabazoid. Declared war on the Helvins. Oh, come on. Uh, another one, another one. Sure, we're like, constantly at war with our neighbors now. That makes me pretty mad, I gotta say. Healthcare campaigns. Let's declare saint. I guess we're gonna go capacity overload and um, farming subsidies as well. <sighs> oh well. The what spirits can we do? have granted us new wisdom. How's Terra Zed? It is at least strong ish. We've got the UV lasers. Oh, we have the null void beam. By harnessing the entropic nature of the null void, this beam can actually destroy energy. What does it do? 400% shield damage. That must be must be a patch uh, thing that put this as a normal research option. I think I think you could normally only get this if you have the 
what's it called, a dimensional portal on one of your planets, and you get that as an option. I'm glad that they included it in the normal research options, because this is just sickeningly good. Like, 400% shield damage. You put one of these on your ship, and it strips all the shields. That's crazy. That is actually crazy, having that. Okay, we're missing amenities. Okay, we're upgrading the ships in the slug yards. Bagel Baker has to develop new skills, that's great. Question is... Um, why, why is this going so slowly? Okay, no, we are, we're upgrading both of them. Okay, that's fine, because we, we do have tons and tons of stuff here. We also need a fleet academy on this, so that ships have more starting experience. I have no idea why I haven't built that on there. Hmm. Come on, guys. Upgrading ships. If we can get no void beams on our cruisers, that's gonna be amazing. I really don't want to fight the the cats down here. I just, no, just no. We're constantly getting into wars here with the uh, with the Helvens. I don't like it. Hey, well, we can build our first building here. Hmm, there were people that suggested that we should maybe become a little bit more warlike. But I still like the Temple of Prosperity here yeah, just because it boosts the money that we get. Uh, we have to give everyone a choice Our of, ships have been improved. of becoming, of, of getting a, a, a brain slug. That's just necessary. This adds a merchant job, which we definitely want. So let's do this. Provide more housing on our planet. Heretic fleet detected. Uh, how much are they sending? 10k? Come on, I have no way of fighting 10k now. <sighs> I guess we're just getting bombarded. And I'm... Uh, okay, I mean, you have 6k. And these guys, you're almost there. Attacking the mining station. How? Where are you going? Wait, you're going here? Oh, really? That's your that's your highest priority, buddy? We're under attack, you ass. <laughs> okay, so after this, we're gonna ditch the Helvens. I've had it with them. They're just annoying me. Like, what is this? We're under war, and they're like, hmm, yeah. So, about this war... Well, we don't think this should really be a thing, so we're just gonna chill. Okay, so let's build... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna replace the... the smaller ship classes with cruisers. This is gonna be good. Keep that radar in there, that's fine. The Heralds of Death have sent us an insult. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Sure. Heralds of Death. That is... It's fine. If you're acting out against other people, it's just it's just a cry for love and help. Where are they? Up here, I think. Yeah, Church of the Brain Slugs, we have a no so money and you, Gagaxon's Reek of Desperation. <laughs> <laughs> the spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, finally, we got the dangerous wildlife removal. Oh, we got the penal colony. Uh, it's decidedly... Oh yeah, this is what I wanted. Food processing, food processing facilities. That's what I've been looking for for a while now. This is great. Quite sure Our why. Ships have been oh yeah, no, that's because of the edict. Right, I get it now. Sure. Duh Prime, we still need those... Uh, we need that dense jungle blocker. If I can get it, I'll do it. And we have the tri unemployed Tropokin. It's a mining world. Um, what can I put in the mining world? I guess corporate culture site could be a thing. Manager jobs are good. We we'll probably want to boost our unity. 
Um, Heretic fleet detected. Quite a bit more. Um, we're already paying way too much. Like paying double. Construction complete. We could move away from being a mega corporation, but I like having the branch officers to grow outside our borders. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Oh yeah, also people have been saying you have to collect all the all the trade, and I agree with you. We'll do it via this. So let's build trade hub, trade hub. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Yes, we got the null void beam. So this is this is pretty gnarly for our opponents. Do we go advanced shields? Auxiliary fire control increases the chance to hit. I'm not sure we need that. Yeah, let's go advanced shields. It's 96 months. It's a long time, but I can kind of feel that this is going to be good. Are we done upgrading? Yeah, we are. So let's let's check our designs just real quick here. Um, ship design, Corvette. So, yeah, about this. Why don't we put some proper lasers on this and then a null void beam, eh? Was this not upgraded? Have we been fighting with super old designs? What the heck? Either I've been sleeping. Oh, this is all very wrong. So, swarm, go this. Go that. I'm not sure if we need the picket. I'm really not sure if we need the picket. Let's go. Let's go with this. So we'll put one one stripper thing on it, and then two lasers. Seems like the combination of of death. Do we need a booster? I don't think so. So let's go like this. This looks good. And then our cruisers. Um. Do we go? Yeah, we go here, shield stripping, and then we go armor damage. This looks nice. Actually, we could also consider going for a big bow, like a large bow. What do we have? Accuracy 90, tracking 30, range 90, range 60. So this is also a long range weapon. I love it. These guys are great. Okay. Oh man, that, that tracking boost could actually really be helpful here for the ship type. But uh, well, I guess we're gonna chuck those orbital. Yeah, they make it a little bit cheaper if we don't have them. Pick it. Uh, we don't want to go close range. We'll go line formation. Okay, this looks okay. Very good. So, um, damn it, it's gonna be expensive to upgrade these dudes, but I don't really see another choice. I'm gonna do this. Construction complete. I will also. Buy more stuff. I I really the want my. Are after our spaceport. Yeah, yeah. There's there's really no way that we can stop these guys from doing whatever they want in our space. It's annoying as hell, but <laughs> see no way, <laughs> see no way of stopping them. We only have 4K, a little bit over 4K against eight. Where are you going now? Attacking Fijian Station, sure. They're just gonna cut a bloody swath through our lands. At least it's only a, um, a humiliate war. It's not as bad. Just wonder if they're gonna destroy all my ships again. That would that would annoy me. And these guys, they're like, hmm. I've heard there's a war, but maybe we just do nothing for now. This is like a totally new strategy for us. The spirits have completely different to what did wisdom. we what we did in the last war when we did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Man, these guys are so bad. Wish I could just uh, oh well executive retreat. That's planet limit of one, but this looks pretty cool. Corporate Empire, Planet Modifier. For higher ranking corporate officers. Um, that's the energy siphon. This looks this looks much worse than what we have now with the null void beam. 
It's awesome that we have that. This allows to terraform inhabited planets. It's interesting, but oh well. What is this? Refinery world. It's an arid world. Hmm. Yeah, let's go executive retreat. It looks, it looks fun. It must be fun. Hmm. Not at all happy with how this is going. Like, they're, they're bombarding our planets again down here. And our allies are absolutely doing jack shit. I mean, come on! Grow a pair and do something. Like, together we would be totally able to kick that fleet out. They're like, nope. Not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Okay, then. I mean, they're also really hurting our uh, our consumer goods income. I think Terra said, uh, where is it? Terra said Prime is where we. No. Our ships have been improved. I mean, great, we've improved ships. Yay! How much does that do for our fleet power? Yeah, two hundred for this fleet. <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough. I can't do it alone, and I cannot separate piece. Holy hell, we really need, like, a mechanic where I can just get out of the stupid war. Like, I'm... Oh, brother Findu died. Well, he's he's in a better place. With more slugs. Slugs are gonna... His slug is gonna live on. Construction complete. As is his body. In the form of the slug. Oh, right. No, I guess what we're having consumer goods problems. Because we lost the stations. And we're, trans we're uh, converting our... Um, trade value into consumer goods. So, yeah, that is pretty nasty, actually. We'll upgrade this, but we don't have the, the income. What we need is the Forge World Up. I remember that now. So we need the Forge World Up. For sure. We need the Forge World ASAP. I guess I'm going to sell this. Um, I guess we'll buy this. So yeah, Forge World, and then we can go Consumer Goods and Alloys. We can go nuts on those. It's gonna be great. And then I guess we're gonna ditch the Helvens. They, they're annoying me. They're annoying me to no to no end. It's like it's not even funny. Do you want to establish a branch office here though? And we do have the rights, so probably gotta wait until I have the monies, and then we'll go for this rural world. I wonder why that is like a free planet. Hmm. I have a branch office here. We just gotta wait until they grow up to 25, which is soon gonna happen in like most of their planets. And then maybe acquire new disciples over here in the east somewhere. Synthoid Savants. Actually, are looking rather favorably at us. That's interesting. They don't have a lot of population, only 127. That makes them rather weak. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Next time we can think about how we get these guys displaced. I don't really see how we can do it. I mean, they're very heavy on the rail guns, and we're very low on the shields actually. Um, so they have ray guns and they have X-ray lasers. Hmm. Hmm. They're bad armor. They're really bad armor. So if we strip their shields, they might go boom. It's with their destroyers. Okay, so they have pickets. We're not using missiles, so those are like dead slots and then the corvettes are using ray guns and lasers so they are anti-shield and we are armor heavy i think from the looks of our designs let me just check that now we're balanced here we're armor heavy on the corvettes i guess that's okay but you see our damage output is like um 49 and there's is 89 is that the what does an actual cruiser of ours do yeah no yeah 59 59 versus 89 that's gonna suck big time big time i mean the damage output on these is not very high the modifier is pretty high i guess we find out not sure if i want to suicide my fleet into here but yeah we'll see how things go for now thanks for watching hope you join me next time bye bye